Hi, in this video we're going to talk about chromosomal abnormalities and non-Mendelian patterns of inheritance. Now, we've already mentioned one type of abnormality that can occur, and that is non-disjunction, when sister chromatids or homologs fail to separate during cell division, specifically during meiosis. Now, what you'll wind up with, if you have a non-disjunction, you'll have an extra chromosome going to, let me take myself out of the image here so you can see this, you'll have an extra chromosome going to one cell and another cell missing a chromosome, and this results in aneuploidy, having the wrong number of chromosomes. Now, aneuploidy can result from other things, but it does commonly result from non-disjunction. And when you have aneuploidy, you can end up with organisms that have monosomy, having only one chromosome instead of the normal two, or you can have trisomy, which is three chromosomes instead of the normal two. And we, uh, a very common example of trisomy is Down syndrome in humans. And Down syndrome results from trisomy of the 21st chromosome. And there are a number of symptoms that go along with this. Now some organisms are polyploidy, meaning they have more than two complete sets of chromosomes. Plants actually can be triploid or tetraploid, having three or four complete sets. And plants actually do all right with these extra chromosomes, but it's pretty harmful to humans and other animals. We don't do well if there is an upset in the number of chromosomes we're supposed to have. Now there are other types of abnormalities that can occur, and these come in the form of chromosome damage and botched repair. So, here we have a normal chromosome, and sometimes what you can end up with is a deletion, where part of that chromosome actually is deleted and removed, and then you have a truncated chromosome or a shortened chromosome that's missing a piece. You can also have duplications, where an extra fragment of a chromosome will be duplicated and attached to that chromosome. This is in some ways, this can be just as bad as a deletion. It can be just as harmful. Now, when you have a duplication, sometimes that results from a fragment breaking off and being reattached to the wrong chromosome, but that fragment can also be reattached in the wrong orientation, and we call this inversion, where you actually have that fragment, but it gets reattached backwards as we see here. This is very dangerous as uh, genes need to be read in a specific direction. So this is going to cause all the genes to be read backwards and it's going to be very harmful to the organism. You can also have a translocation where a chromosome fragment from one chromosome actually attaches to a non-homologous chromosome. It attaches to the wrong chromosome and this is also can this also can be quite damaging now let's turn the page 